Here in Searchlight, um, there are no rivers or bodies of water that are very close to Searchlight, and so the uh, water source is well water. And in the desert here, one of the things that we uh, find in different locations in different aquifers is uh, arsenic, higher levels of arsenic. And so um, as a situation where we have a water stressed area, um, there aren't lots of options to choose from with respect to water quality. So what we did was, and what we do at this facility was, is we drilled um, some, some test wells and found this particular location where we got good yield and we put a well in place and that well is uh, it does have higher than the EPA limit for uh, arsenic uh, in in the source water here so we pump water out of that aquifer and we go to these two um, tanks that are behind me and those are ion exchange reservoirs where we um, put the uh, the water in contact with uh, ion exchange that ion exchange binds that arsenic onto the um, actual um, uh, material that's in the ion exchange, the media that's in there, and holds it and allows the clean water to be able to move forward. Uh, that then goes over to our uh, area where we have the keto shield, and that keto shield uh, gives us a readout of that those water quality parameters, that particularly arsenic, what we're concerned about, and then that water goes off to our customers in Searchlight. The visibility that we get into the process um, and ensuring that we are providing good quality water 24-7 is really one of the great benefits associated with uh, the instrumentation, the Keto Shield that we've got. That's where online water quality monitoring is really, really helpful. It's that eye that is out in the field that uh, that where you can not have operators or, or people be 24-7 to be watching exactly what's happening. It's, it's helping us to monitor and make sure that we're in compliance 24-7. I'm really a believer in determining what your challenges are, what your gaps are, those places where you really don't know and can't answer those questions and looking for solutions to them. And here at the arsenic treatment plant at Searchlight, that really fit that criteria and, and that hole was, uh, was filled by the Keto Shield. If you're an operator that's sitting in the control room and you are responsible for the operation of that facility and the water quality that comes from that facility, any more information that you can have that you can rely on is going to help you to understand the process better and be able to ensure that you're in compliance. It only takes one issue, one non-compliance situation one situation where you cannot um, ensure your customers that what they received was within the Safe Drinking Water Act framework uh, to justify the expense of the Keto Shield. In the utility world that we live in, uh, it's an ever-changing environment where more information is needed, where decisions maybe potentially carry even more weight, and uh, really what we want to have is the information and the tools in our hand to be able to make those correct decisions the first time and to be able to, to manage risk. And so I would recommend to utility managers that I think that the, the standard that we get from EPA through the Safe Drinking Water Act and whether, you know, how that's promulgated in the various states, that that is, um, that is a baseline, that's a, that's a, that is that standard to comply with, uh, but in the world that we are now living in, in 2021, customers are expecting even more. They're expecting for um, us to be able to demonstrate to them that everything that we're providing to them not only meets the standard but is even lower than the standards and we can have answers to those questions and we can ensure that we are doing that 24 7. Installation was very easy for us. Um, we, we had very little work to do to put it in the stream, uh, the effluent stream from our treatment process. And, uh, um, you know, it was, it was very simple. Uh, the actual uh, 
installation and, and the, the work that was done to get it to get the communication and information back to our operators was very simple and so um, all in all a very simple installation. I think the people from Quitos uh, have been very responsive and they have worked with us to uh, not only on the implementation but on the ongoing maintenance uh, um, that needs to occur. Uh, very like I said, uh, quick to answer our questions and any concerns. And uh, uh, I think they realize that we have a lot of things that are going on as a water utility. And so being an effective and efficient uh, interface um, is definitely the focus. Procurement is always um, a challenge in these types of situations because um, you're trying to demonstrate the fact that you have found the appropriate solution, but you've also been competitive in looking at the different options that are available. And so one of the things that's been very helpful for us is going through an RFP process with WaterStart, who we are a member of. It allows us to be able to um, evaluate multiple technologies and go through a defined selection criteria to show that this is the, the, the technology or the innovation that's the most appropriate. And when you do that, um, it, it, uh, it really streamlines the purchasing process. And then whether it be um, whatever mechanism you're going to use, which could potentially be a sole source agreement or could be um, um, other approaches that you have, you've been able to demonstrate that you've gone through and found the best solution for the challenge that you're facing. So for us, um, using the process that I just mentioned, procurement is actually quite simple um, because really what the procurement rules are intending for you to do are to make sure that you are getting the best value for the rate payer and that you're being competitive and allowing people to, uh, to, to uh, show you what their technology does, what their application is, and by going through this process, it's actually really streamlined uh, the overall procurement situation for these innovative solutions. And so Ketos was one of those for sure.